He was there under Bob Devaney. Run the ball, stop the run. It's not pretty. It may be boring. It's ugly, but it's his way. It's what he told us yesterday. He says, it's what I am. It's the way we play around here, and that's what we do best. And they're 8-2 and two in a season that nobody yeah. expected them to be 8-2. All right. Wisconsin deferred to the second half, having won the toss. That sends the freshman Thomas, Anthony Thomas, up. Oh, we're ready to go with Davenport. Is that the topic? Uh, Kaczynski kicked it off, I guess it was, and uh, it'll go beyond the field of play as Thomas looked at it and let it go, and uh, a good thing he did. The Chili starting on up for the Michigan offense, the front. This is the group that broke Penn State last week and could hold the key in this one. If they can run it, they can win it. The receivers have not been productive this season. The backs, for example, have 20 more catches than do the wideouts. In the backfield, Chris Howard had a great game last week, and if his offensive line gives him that kind of room today, he might have a lot of fun, both he and Chris Floyd and Anthony Thomas. But it's Chris Howard, number eight, the beat man in the backfield, and he has the first carry. Over the right side, breaks it across the 25 and out close to the 28-yard line. The Wisconsin defensive front, they have two freshmen in the front four, Golodzi and Favre. Tom Burke has 13 tackles for loss. The linebackers, Thompson and Lysak, lead the team in tackles. Adam off is fifth. They pursue very well. In the secondary, cornerback Jason Suttle is still out with injury. True freshman Dante King gets his third start at cornerback. It is second down and three for Michigan. It's Howard again. Howard across the 30 and pounds his way to the 35-yard line. So they're finding some room as 76 Hutchinson opened the door for him. So the Michigan had 120 yards and two men, four catches and a touchdown. Eight, nine-man front for Wisconsin trying to stop this running game. First pass of the day from Greasy. Gets it away. Got a man wide open. Ty Streets. And Streets will take the ball to the Wisconsin side of the field for a first down for Michigan at the Badgers 46. And that's a big catch for Ty, Ty Streets because last week he dropped a couple of balls. He's had a couple of dislocated fingers, one on each hand, and Streets makes the first reception here today for the Wolverines. Anthony Thomas comes into the backfield now. Thomas is the bigger back at 229 pounds. The freshman out of Louisiana. Streets steps up along the line and Jeremy Tuman the tight end. Goes in motion. Give it to Thomas. Thomas over the right side. And some room. And some go. Picks up about three on the carry. Now, number 33 is not here. The running back. And here goes Casey Lee. They're after him now, and they're going to suck him. Back at midfield, it was David Lysak, 57, the linebacker, and Tom Burke, 74, the defensive end. So that's Burke getting a piece of his 14th tackle for a loss this season. It was Lysak, the linebacker, that puts pressure on uh, Brian. He would have had time to throw it if Lysak wouldn't have been in his face because he had single coverage on the outside. Well, they had the right play called under the right circumstance, except for the fine defensive play by Wisconsin. It's Chris Floyd in the backfield now, the big blocking back. Reese's pass is away, and it is caught. It is completed downfield, the second in a row to Ty Street, who caught it down on his knees, and you move the chains. That'll be another Michigan first down. Well, Greasy and, and Michigan have been outstanding, Keith, on third down situations this year. They're second in the Big Ten in converting third downs into first downs, and this is just a well-thrown ball, and it's a good start for Ty Streets. There are his season numbers, 63% pretty good. First down, ball just inside the 35-yard line is Chris Howard looking inside traffic and doesn't get anything out of the play. They get him just about the line of scrimmage, and again, it's 57 Lysak on the play. David is a 247-pounder, a senior out of Bethlehem. Football, second down and nine. Lucy's pass, thrown to the outside to Chris Howard, the running back. Makes the first man miss, second man got him just across the 30. Donnell Thompson, number 44, gets the call on the tackle. Thompson had a big game uh, last week against uh, Iowa. Take a look at the pass protection. It's an option. Uh, he can throw the ball downfield. Good protection. Puts downfield and then dumps it off. Charles Woodson comes into the ball game. He's in there as a wideout. That will get Wisconsin's attention. Nobody behind Greasy now. You've got three of them over here together. They set up the screen. Woodson with the ball. Throws it back across to Greasy. Greasy's got a convoy down the sidelines. One man to beat. Goes just short of the goal line. They finally knock him out of bounds. Bobby Myers... Knocked him out of bounds. So Michigan showed you a little razzle-dazzle stuff. Four things that Charles Woodson can do on the check. They ran this Bring play last Bible. year at the end of the season against Alabama. And Brian, just as he was catching it, dropped it from the end zone behind us in the backward pass. Woodson, everybody knew he was in the ball game. They just get back. There's a convoy down the sideline. That thump you just heard, that was Bo Schimbeckler fainting. <laughs> Bo wouldn't leave that play. <laughs> First down and goal from the one. Give it to Chris Howard. He goes over the top and they don't give him the touchdown. Badgers, a lot of funny stuff. I think he said something about sneaking in here. Look for the quarterback sneak. Second effort, didn't get there. That first hit was Lysak. Lysak hit him right at the very top. 
knocked him off the stack. And then the second effort, he got back up help and he did not get in. And so in there, and Chris Howard, get it, no, Gracie on a bootleg. Running for the corner. He didn't get there. Bobby Myers knocked him out. Oh, Wisconsin's putting up a spirited goal line stand from the one. The ball is no more than six inches from the goal line. They stopped Iowa last week, just a week ago, three times. They had a receiver down in the end zone that was Shea, number 36, but Brian tried to run it in. They will go for it, knowing if they don't make it, they leave Wisconsin very deep. Chris Howard, there's a the touchdown. Gutsy call by Lloyd Carr on the road, but it's a good one. And we get a little sprinkling of snow now as Michigan gets the first score of the day, and it comes at 9.06 to play in the first quarter. Craig Baker will do the extra point try for Michigan. Greasy's the holder. And the kick is good. So Michigan uses 13 plays to go 80 yards and take the lead, 7 to nothing. So Martin, the up man, the blocking fullback, picks up the football, and Wisconsin's going to get their first possession up here midfield. Go and kick it into the wind. Here's a look at the uh, scoring drive, 13 plays, 80 yards. Take a look. Charles Woodson in here, and that's the key. He's going to throw the ball out to Charles Woodson. When Woodson comes in, all of Wisconsin moves in the game. Now, there he throws it out there. Now, if you'll stop it right here, look at all these Wisconsin guys. All the red shirts are coming this way, so when he throws it back, they were all trying to catch up with Woodson, and Brian had three blocking guys out there in front of him and still couldn't get in the end zone. All right, Mike Samuel will bring Wisconsin out. This is their first offensive series of the ball game. Eddie Faulkner, who's starting at tailback, in relief from Ron Bain, will pick up one yard, and here's John Sonja. It is time for the Burger King update. Now, Washington, the only team in the Pac-10 controlling its own destiny, beat UCLA today. Washington State next week, they go to the Rose Bowl. Rashawn Sheehy not playing, so Maurice Shaw takes this one to the end zone for the touchdown, and Washington strikes first 7-0. And Miami, a winner over Rutgers, 51-23. It is second down and eight from the 45-yard line for Wisconsin. That short kick picked up up the field, and the Badgers are starting at good field position, but they lost a big chunk of it right there as Clint Copenhaver led the defensive surgeons and uh, dropped Faulkner for a loss. The Wisconsin uh, starting lineup now, the Chile starting lineup for the Badgers. Three redshirt freshmen in the middle center, both guards, all over 300 pounds. Left tackle is a sophomore at 319, and the right tackle, Aaron Gibson, weighed 373 earlier this week. 373. The receivers, <laughs> Wisconsin runs the football, but they do have two very good receivers in Hayes and Simmons. And, of course, Mike Samuel is going to have to have time to get the ball to them. And we, you well know by now that Ron Dane has a sore ankle, suffered in the Iowa game first series last week, and may not play at all today. That is an incomplete forward pass it's handled and off the hands of Donald Hayes. Hayes is 6'5 and at about 212 pounds out of Dearborn, Michigan. He's a very, very good possession receiver, but couldn't reel that one in, and so the Badgers punt. Both teams had good games last week, but Michigan has continued that momentum offensively and defensively. Semke had a super uh, punting day last week as Charles Woodson goes back to receive the punt, and you can see the snow now, a pronounced little flurry. And the left puts that thing out of there pretty well. It's out of bounds. They do not want Woodson to have the ball. They did not kick it to Tim White at all last week, and it worked. Right again today. We'll give it to Chris Howard. Howard trying to come around the left side. He'll pick up about three yards on the carry. That was very good pursuit. Uh, Roscoe Logi, number 78. He is a big redshirt freshman from Stevens Point, Wisconsin. 65 scholarships belong to freshmen and sophomore. Greasy back. Passes away. His man's on his knees, and the pass is completed to Shaw. Uh, you can't do that on Saturday. Now, if you're going to catch it on your knees, you stay there at the 35-yard line. <laughs> Next Saturday, live at noon Eastern, America's biggest road show rolls to Ann Arbor. The Rose Bowl picture still a little fuzzy, but coming on, the Buckeyes of Ohio State will be in town against Michigan. So lock all the China and uh, cushion it, because everything will be rattling. Wisconsin, Penn State, Oklahoma State, Baylor, Maryland, Georgia Tech, Utah, BYU, and a Pac-10 game will be included in next week's college football action. That'll be Chris Howard carrying for another person. A big senior from River Ridge, Louisiana is having a heck of a second half of the season. He's been tearing them up for the last half dozen games. Time remaining, first quarter, six minutes and 25 seconds. Howard has carried seven times, 31 yards and a touchdown so far today. Seven to nothing, Michigan leading Wisconsin in the first quarter. The ball is at the 46-yard line. The ball is handed to Chris Floyd. He's loose. He's a big, tough guy. He's inside the 25-yard line. So Chris Floyd has been dinged up, feeling well again, and the 230-pound senior out of Detroit had a big ramble down the field for another first down. 
Take a look at the pit, the right guard. Uh, that's Grant's in there now. 67 is going to pull. Both guards have been pulling on these plays down the field. Floyd doesn't get an opportunity to carry much. He is a tremendous blocker, and Brian calls him the MVP on offense. He put that straight arm on that freshman pretty good, didn't he? Dante King out of Los Angeles. Third start with a two freshmen. Hand the ball back inside to Anthony Thomas, who has come in. And not, uh, Anthony doesn't get much out of that. In fact, he'd be lucky if he got it past the marker. Be like this. Hamstring would be a little tender. Ball is just short of the 21-yard line. Howard is the single back. And you got Shaw going in motion. Breezy throws back this side. Ball goes to Aaron Shea, a tight end. And Shea is cut down on a driving tackle by Roger Knight, number 19. It's a tight end screen, Keith, and it was just uh, completed too deep in the backfield. And the Wisconsin defensive guys smelled that one out. So Michigan is now looking at third down, 11, as the ball is spotted near the 24. You get down around the 20-yard line, these Badgers get pretty hard-headed about it. We don't want you on their real estate. Reese gets pressure, passes away, passes incomplete. Pass intended for Ty Streets. He hit him with the ball right in the number for the uh, field goal try. They're going to put the ball down at the 31-yard line. They're going to kick it what appears to be into the wind. He hooked it, and he missed it. So the wind uh, was in his face. 41-yard try goes away, and Wisconsin wins. Now is their success on first down. All the coaches from this were worried about that success. But their first possession, on first down, they only picked up two yards. And on third down, they did not get the pass completed. They had the punt. Three downs and out, Keith. Here they come for the second time around now. They start back at the 24-yard line. Mike Samuel, the quarterback. And he stands up and throws quickly. The pass to Donald Hayes. And there's a gain up to about the 33-yard line. The Michigan defense... Uh, Josh Williams is not out there today. He's dinged up and is not playing. Joaquin Pizel is playing in his place across the Michigan defensive front. But Steele, Rennes, and the Williams, and also uh, uh, Fizell uh, last week had the big sack yes, against Penn State. Mm -hmm. Linebackers, if that front three penetrate and disrupt, these guys will have you looking for a phone and dialing 911. <laughs> Second down and six. Ball is handed to Faulkner, and Faulkner will go down at the 30-yard line. Sam straight, 1,000-yard rushers, and they've been four different guys. Third down and four. Samuel rolls out and throws incomplete off the hands of the tight end, Eric Graham. Graham's it open, but he threw the ball behind him a little bit. Well, this is not their cup of tea, throwing the football. They want to run the football, and the, their two two drives now have been three plays and out. Got their special teams can do things, too. You, Russell Shaw will go deep for Kevin Stemke's punt now. Stemke's first kick today. Left footer had a 40-yarder and out of bounds, no return. Their, their special teams last week against Iowa Keith were outstanding. That's another good kick. Oh, I'll tell you. Of course, that's with the win. Shaw back there, and he's taken down, and they're going to throw flags on it because the Wisconsin man violated the two-yard zone. For Mark Campbell, who is a senior defensive back, and I guess you didn't see the fair catch call, well, they're, and took him down. They're, they're calling this in college football more this year than I've ever seen it. Yep. You have to give the, the, receiving, uh, the receiver two yards or six feet and an opportunity to catch the football. Jack Teach, the referee. It's a hold, and it's against... Uh, hold against Michigan and the interference uh, violation. Of but he was within the uh, two yard or the six foot limit that you have to catch the football. This is a big uh, big break for Michigan and a, and a great kick uh, by Wisconsin and Stemke goes down the drain have to do it all over again. <laughs> Charles Woodson is on the field now so Charles will go back and handle this kick. Now the question is whether or not Stemke will kick it to him. And, and Campbell the, the guy on the outside if he's caught his breath you have to go down and cover another point. That's right. Low kick. It will give uh, Woodson time, except he had no chance to get to it. The ball tripped out of bounds at the 26-yard line, and there Michigan will have it. But it's a 44-yard punt. Ugly. Oh, it's a deep man now as Michigan comes back to the attack. Greasy back to throw the ball. Gets it away, and it's caught on the ricochet by Ty Streets. The up man, Lysak, the linebacker, tipped it, but he went right to Ty Streets for a completion. It did. It was just over Lysak. With, uh, with Michigan from behind the offense. Mike DeVore, the offensive coordinator, says we got single coverage on the outside. If they're leaving our wide receivers, that ball was almost intercepted by Lysik, 57, or at least he should have knocked it down. He got his hand on it, down and up on it. Just outside the 40 for the first down, and this is below Chris Floyd, and the big fullback will go to midfield and stop there. That's close to a first down, but I think they'll mark him just about his play. You should see that when guards pull. When the guards pull across the center, and they run into each other. That's a real circus. I don't think he made a first down here. Well, they ponder it. Tomorrow at 1.30 Eastern, 12.30 Central and Pacific, the U.S. Knight of those fighting for one of the 32 spots. Won't get it. 
penalty flag thrown by the referee, and that will almost always get you a holding call. Adam off next. Back some, uh, some peppers. You leave any knobs on you? Oh, yes. <laughs> now he's chasing around my son. <laughs> His son chasing my son. Benson's kick is away. High hanger. Wind grabs it. And coming off with a fair catch call is Ahmad Merritt. And Wisconsin Thompson will get it at the 24. <laughs> Vic Randall, number one of the nation, but their hopes for a national championship season knocked right off the tracks before it started rolling. An aggressive Badger defense and this 71-yard screen pass from Jess Cole to John Williams raised the crowd to an unprecedented level in Wisconsin, prevailed 21 to 14. One thing about the crowds here at Camp Randall Stadium, they are almost always at an unprecedented level, and last week, in particular, the coaches and players praised the crowd for their help against Iowa. Carl McCulloch is in the backfield now for the Badgers, as Samuel rolls out, gets pressure, throws the ball away. He threw that one in the cheap seats because big old he's got the ball. And he just kept on sliding through the traffic. First two men didn't take him bet. Tommy Hendricks finally got him down. That inside three and that offensive line are all true freshmen. I mean, uh, redshirt freshmen, all three of them. Ferrario and Robach and Costner. McCullough. McCullough's an interesting story, Keith. He's a fifth-year senior. Two years ago, before the arrival of Ron Dane, he ran for 1,000 yards. In the last couple of years, he hasn't done a lot, but he's a fifth-year captain. This Number four, Michigan, were led by an amazing sophomore class that included Jack Tatum, Jim Stillwagon, and quarterback Rex Kern. A dominating 50-14 triumph sent a record Ohio Stadium crowd into a frenzy. The Buckeyes finished 10-0, claiming the 1968 National Championship. Well, their opponents 0-21 for 21 on third-down conversion drives over the last seven quarters, and now that's close. I think they may have just popped it, broken that string, because it looks like... the ball off. This is McCullough. McCullough spins away from two tacklers and will pick up one yard on the play. But Barry Alvarez said yesterday, yes, indeed, we are young, and this is what I have to do to keep them on the right path. One thing for granted. Well, done pretty well, though, too. Yeah, he's done very well. Though. Second down and nine. Pass is thrown incomplete, out of bounds. Very good coverage on that play, as McCulloch was the man closest to the pass as it was thrown away. Might also say, too, Bob, that none of the Michigan players have ever played here at Camp Randall. Some of them, including your son, have been here, yeah. but they've never played. That looks more like sleep than snow now, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Good work. Samuel is one of five for four yards, and the thing about it is, they haven't got the running game going. The Badgers normally come out and just run the football. They're trying to open it up by throwing, and neither at this point are working, the run game or the pass game. Third down and nine now for Wisconsin, and that's Donald Hayes in motion. Samuel back. Steps away from the pressure, and now there's a penalty flag, and the quarterback is dropped back around. Oh, he will get a yard or so on that carry, but the penalty flag is what may be the most interesting. It's going to be against Wisconsin. It'll be holding time. Kempke will be punting into a wrist freeze. Sort of an angle, and it's not dead in the face. He's going to knock it down, but this fellow's got a pretty good leg. Shaw circles and catches, and uh, he's on the sidelines, and finally taken down. At about the 22-yard line. Lamar Campbell was the cover man down for Wisconsin. 13-24 to go in the half. A 22-yard line with 13-24 to play in the half. This is what they talk about when they say playing Big Ten football in November, isn't it? Yep, I think so. Cold, windy, rough conditions. Woodson's in the game. He has the ball. Quick pass to the sideline. Charles Woodson knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line by Lamar Kimball. They knew he was there. They had a man on him, a man to back him up, and he still made something out of the play. Here's the numbers uh, for the first quarter. Michigan really came out rolling. Look at Wisconsin. No first downs, only eight plays, the 24, and the bottom is probably the most telling. Wisconsin normally, time of possession, they lead the conference in time of possession. Michigan the second. Michigan the big, big uh, time of possession there in the first quarter. Woodson leaves the lineup. Reese turns, hands the ball to Anthony Thomas. And Anthony Thomas is it there. Eight, nine yards before he's finally dragged down. Up to nothing. Ball to Thomas. Thomas picks his hole, gets his first down, breaks it out. Down to about the 38-yard line on the Wisconsin side of the field before Dante King to bring it down. Chris Floyd, big old blocking fullback. Yeah, watch the block for Floyd right Boom. there. Number seven just knocks Lysik down. Lysik is responsible for that hole. The linebacker is supposed to be in that hole, and Campbell just took him out. And then Thomas made one of the defensive backs miss. Chris Floyd makes a difference. There He's is no question. From the 39, Reese still got it. Let's it go deep. Nice sweeps is there. Touchdown, Michigan. <laughs> 
This is a, this is a play action pass, Keith, off of one of their favorite plays. Reeks is having a big day after some frustrating games leading up to this where he had some problems with his fingers. We said he had a couple of fingers dislocated in some of the games earlier, early on. He's got four passes for 86 yards and a touchdown today. I say that's a good up to this point this year. Missed that point. Baker missed the point. Uh-oh. A little thing like that. It makes up the difference down the highway. 13 to nothing, Michigan. My street has been so successful out of the wide receiver spot. It's Carl McCullough in there at the running back position now. Marcus Ray comes up and makes the tackle on him for Michigan. Carl McCullough comes up pretty well for about seven yards as he gets it up across the 25 to the 27. Now make it five yards. Second down and five. Greasy now for Michigan. Eight out of nine for 112 yards and a touchdown. Plus a reception, 28 yards and so. <laughs> Catch and a run. McCullough, Keith, the running back, hasn't played in the five or six ballgame. Yes, he does. He's a veteran. He's a, he's a fifth-year senior. He's been around. This is a big ball game. And I think it's smart for Barry Alvarez to get him in the ballgame. Faulkner wasn't doing well. Ben Arkansas was in sight. Tennessee and the Hogs going at it. And that's McCullough with another outstanding run, getting pretty good blocking help from that big sophomore left tackle, Chris McIntosh, a 319-pounder. Good blocking up front there. You're exactly right, Keith. McIntosh is 75. McCullough's been out to pasture the last five weeks, and uh, he says, hey, I'm ready and anxious and looking forward to playing some. Hungry. 46-yard line. First down for the Badgers. Well, again. Again, it's McIntosh who opened that door for him, and McCullough is the deep back. Gets the ball up the middle. Oh, he's... He's knocking off five, six yards on first down and really moving it. Copenhagen was the man that brought him down. But that's going to put the ball down near the 37-yard line, inside the 38. 75 is McIntosh, 60 is Ferrario. It's a nice hole there. What, what McCullough is doing, Keith, is he's not rushing it. He's not getting there too quickly. He's uh, keeping the weight over the balls of his feet, and he's just trusting the wrist there. Well, again, and stepping up to this tackle for Michigan. For Cody Yardich, Wisconsin's gotten most of that in the last two possessions. It's third and two. It's Samuel rolling out, running for it. Got it. Got down to the 32-yard line, 46 to play in the first half. 13 nothing, Michigan. This is McCullough looking for a daylight. Patient of a senior. And moves it down to the 26 before Sam Sword brings it down. And he can hold himself there. He had to hold the steel shoulder pad. But that's in the trenches. That's where the big guys play. It's McCullough again. And this is Brent Washington on the tackle for Michigan. That's close to another first down. It is. So the Badgers pounding it down the field. And the crowd starting to come back to the game. This, this is Badger football. This is what Barry Alvarez wants and likes to see. Long, drawn-out drives, running the football. Josh Williams is in now for his first play. Yeah. They need a little defensive help. But in position, and they put him in. With a sore leg. Number 91. McCullough stopped for a moment, but shook him off, and went ahead and made something out of the play. He is. Second down and five. Got it again. This time they get it behind the line of scrimmage. James Hall, who just missed on three different occasions in this first half, finally gets him in. This is just, just a too slow developing play, Keith. Hall comes from the outside and just chases that play down. He's been close two or three times, but uh, finally got it. And the loss will move the ball back to outside the 19-yard line, where it will be third down and eight. There have been 12 plays in this possession, all of them so far. All plays in this possession. So far, running the ball. They've got McCullough now going in motion. Well, this will be your first pass. They swing it out there to Cecil Martin. And Martin is stopped at about the 16-yard line. Sam Sword, the puts of 23. It'll be a 33-yard drop. Tim Rosga is the holder. And it's a lot of leg. And it's good. So the Wisconsin Badger get on the scoreboard in the second quarter of play, four minutes and 22 seconds remaining in the half. 
13 goal game. The home team just scored. And they're kicking it off. Is that Steve? Knocks it down to the 10 yard line to Anthony Thomas. And Thomas looking for some blocking help. Gets it up to the 26. And here's John with an update. Keep the wild one out west. UCLA and Washington in the Rose Bowl, playing to get into the Rose Bowl. Cade McNown, 47 yards to Jim McElroy, and that ties it after the point after. They're all tied up at 14 apiece. Keith, back to you. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wish I was there. Well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have had to get on an airplane this weekend, that's why. And it's also probably about 70 degrees. For the 30-yard line, Chris Howard. And we'll pick up on the play, four yards. In the game, top of the picture. Greasy throws, he throws to Shaw, and Shaw is just about the first down marker. As Leonard Taylor comes in to make the tackle. So they sort of tried man coverage. They come to help him, but he shakes off the first guy, gets away from the second, and the third one finally shoves him out of bounds. So they marked him out back up at the 49-yard line. He is exciting, Keith. Well, he was a step from short. As soon as the ball was snapped, Leonard Taylor, the strong safety, started running out there. And the corner's deep. There's Taylor. He gets around Taylor. Now he beats the corner. That's Campbell. He almost outran the whole defense. Yeah. The ball is on the 49-yard line. First down for Michigan. And this is Chris Howard. And Howard will have nine yards on that carry. Bob Adamoff on the tackle. Wisconsin with a long drive downfield. Settled for the three. Greasy takes it, rolls it out. Nobody to throw to. Kick goes, trying to get past the marker, and does for the 40-yard line. He'll have a first down on the play, and Wisconsin covered up all the people downfield. Pass thrown to Shaw. He gets loose. He's gone. Down to the one-yard, two-yard line. Coming from well off the pace of the play was Leonard Taylor to make a saving tackle for Wisconsin down at the two-yard line. Good play by Shaw to shake off the defender and take it that far. Here's the defender up here, watches her. Receiver's going to go here, and the wide receiver's going to go right in here, and the ball's going to be thrown to the top left of the screen. Top left, Shaw catches it, and really should have got in the end zone. Catches from the outside, didn't see the guy coming. It's first and goal for the Wolverines. Down at the Wisconsin two-yard line, it's Chris Howard fighting his way to the one, maybe a little closer, but he did not. Floyd and Thomas in the backfield. Reese steps out, looks, nobody there, and now he's going to take off, and they'll tackle him, go to the goal line. So again, the and Greasy turns and hands the ball, and it doesn't work. And there's nothing there. And then he comes. He loses the yard on the play. That's kind of funny stuff. And he knocked it through. So Baker missed the extra point. Jay Feely had not attempted a field goal since game two against Baylor. So he comes in and knocks it down the road, and Michigan is up to uh, 16. Wisconsin's got to be happy with that, Keith, because if you remember the completion to Shaw that got him down there, yep. it looked like Shaw was going to score a touchdown. So it was Three yards deep into the end zone, and oh, oh, oh boy, he almost came out. But Kevin Huntley stopped three inches from making a big mistake. Now the Dean Witter halftime stats. Look at, look at the total yardage for Michigan. 309 yards in one half, only 80 for Wisconsin. The one turnover to late in the half didn't make any difference. Uh, Wisconsin did well in the second half, Keith. That one long drive, it was almost uh, seven, eight minutes. Really got him back in the time of possession now. The man who has emerged as a star for the Wisconsin Badgers in this game is uh, Carl McCullough who hadn't played in five games. Senior, he was a force, and he's starting right out at the beginning of the second half with a big play, running it from the 20, out to the 22, and their penalty flags thrown for a late hit on the Michigan Wolverines. So that's a personal foul, and that's going to move the ball all over to the Michigan side of the field. Marcus Ray got there late. Nice block on Giselle, and McCullough has been the life of this offense. He carried for uh, 57 yards on 13 rushes in the first half. That'll put him up around 80 or 90 right there. And puts the football at the Michigan 43-yard line, and all of a sudden the crowd back with a full tummy and uh, feeling good about uh, things. I'm sure Barry Alvarez was telling, hey, there's momentum changes in ball games. We have not been on the upside. Let's go out and create something. And this certainly, the big run, and then the penalty tacked on top of it gets him going here in the second half. Big. Incomplete. Do it again. Going for Donald Hayes. Here's Vince one. Okay, if I caught the bell, yeah. Rand, tight end, goes in motion. That's a new formation for the Badgers. And Samuel runs away from the pressure and turns it upfield for close to five yards. Sam Sword on the tackle. There was penetration. Tight end grabs the motion. He looks at it. Now he runs away from the pressure. And he is caught and tackled. 
by Sam Sword. Big play by Sam Sword because if uh, Samuel gets away from him, he gets the first down. Gain of one of the play. It's going to be fourth and four. This may be an area where they go for it in fourth down, Keith. Mike just goes right back up the middle, which was good. Just couldn't get around Sword. He got up Gibby, didn't he? Kind of a little yeah, bit they're right they're going for it here. This is a good move, Keith, because even if you don't make it, probably won't. And that's a big loss uh, for Alvarez. He, you know, in a game like this, it wouldn't be unusual for a name to carry it 35 or 40 times. <laughs> McCullough, however, has filled the breach quite well. Thank you. It's fourth down and four. And they're going from the 37-yard line of Michigan. Daniel back. No pressure on it. Passes away. It is caught. Down at the 21-yard line by John. 20-yard line by Donald Hayes. It's a good throw and catch by Mike and the uh, and Hayes. It's from the short side of the field, and that's a big first down. No pressure. Hayes just goes down. Hayes has caught 94 passes in his career coming into this ball game. He and Simmons have both caught 94 coming in. They are a pair of two of the finest receivers on any one team in the nation. First down for Wisconsin at the Michigan 20. Samuel coming down on an option. Turn, caught at the line of scrimmage. Fights ahead for three and fumbles the football. But I think they might pull him down. And Martin lined up right in front of the top. Give it to the up man, Martin. He slashes to the 15. Speaks very, very highly of him. Option. Samuel's got a first down inside the 10 yard line. That's a gutty run, I'll tell you, because that guy's running around on a very sore right ankle. Well, he's a tough kid and a gutsy kid, Keith. They didn't run many option plays in the first half, but they come out here in the second half and may have saved the option for the second half, but this is a key play to pick up that first down. Good job by Mike to keep his uh, keep his feet to pick it up. So it's first and goal at the four. The second half, this year Michigan has only given up one touchdown. That was last week against Penn State. Right at the line of scrimmage. And will fall forward probably for second and goal from the three. That's Hayes and Martin. Give it to McCullough. And it's... Nope. Not quite. The linesman came right down the goal line. Wouldn't give it to him. Cecil Martin, the fullback, did a nice job of clearing the way. Martin, 37, right in front of McCullough. Goes around the end, and McCullough says, I'm following my man, 37. And then McCullough turns it up inside and just gets denied. Marcus Ray nailed him, and McCullough is down on the field. Samuel Sneak. They get it to him. Touchdown. He disappeared in the pile, and when they uncovered him, there he was. Touchdown, Wisconsin. of the third quarter to come on out and get it within striking distance. Six, seven points. Having court for the point. Big point. He's got it. So it's 16 to 10. Here's the second effort. That's not the touchdown. Right there. Now he falls in. For the Wisconsin Badgers. 16 to 10 now. Michigan by just six. A bouncer down the field. Finally it is picked up by Wilson. He turns it up. Eric Wilson has been rolled down at about the 25-yard line. Might have been better to let that one go on through to one of the backers. Tonight on ABC, Leslie Nielsen is back in a movie special with uh, Priscilla Presley and Anna. The last week, Michigan comes out throwing as Greasy goes down the middle with it. High street. That's a big throw and catch coming right out. When the crowd is back in the ball game. He was covered too, Bob. He was. They were all over it. As a look at Ty Streets, he's having a big game after not doing much recently. Well, that's just. He's double covered, and, and Ryan threw it the only place. Taylor, number 34, didn't see it coming, so he just went up and put the ball. Woodson is back in the game, top of the picture. First and 10, Michigan. Greasy rolls out. Woodson down the middle of the field, dropped it. Took a lick. Dante. Second down and 10 from the 46. This is Chris Howard. Wisconsin defense now feeding off the crowd and the success of their offense. And they stuff it at the line of scrimmage.
incomplete. Woodson and Street are in the same neighborhood. I think the second of the day, the first one was 29 yards. Whoops, high snap, and he got it out. And a fair catch ball by Wisconsin down at the 25-yard line. Six points. They're eight and two on the season, and they're still in the Rose Bowl hunt themselves. That tackle is made by Glenn Steele. Well, Casey, you see Carl McCullough back in the ball game. I talked to the trainer, and he said that Carl got his belt again. Samuel being chased by Glenn Steele. Gets his pass away, and it's incomplete. He has been all over the place uh, this afternoon. He's doing a great job. He also ran into a rough little series there with McIntosh when he got lined up against him, and McIntosh handled him for a while. Yes, he did. Take a look. He puts it on the Michigan side of the field at the 48-yard line. They're still running the ball, but it's a different guy running it. Well, they're running the option. They pick it on third downs. They run the option. And, and Samuel, one of his strengths is running the football. Washington right there, number 16, misses the tackle, the free safety. Big drive here for Wisconsin. Samuel's run eight times, 53 yards, and scored a touchdown. And it's first down Badgers on the Michigan 48-yard line. And stepped on by one of his offensive linemen, Keith. Ferrario, the left guard, who was stepping up the block, stepped on his foot at the bottom of the picture. And the ball to the fellow. Glenn Steele's on the bottom of that tackle. Renus is there. It'll be third. Samuel back, a little quick pop, drawn to the right side of the tight end, Eric Rams. And Rams is knocked out of bounds, well short of the first down. The Badgers will have to punt it away. High kick. There won't be a return on this one either. It's going to go out of bounds. That's what they call coughing corner. Just outside the seven yard line. 36 yard punt. Distance is not the point here, it's where. Ball is back on the Michigan seven yard line. Defense. Well, they yield some there to uh, Chris Howard, who got behind big John Jensen and Chris Stephen and found some running room out to about the 15 yard line. Well, that's about a seven yard pickup. Michigan needs to it. He got a penalty flag and whistles actually as that play started. Second down and seven. Big hit by David Lysick on Chris Howard. Not much there when you're getting nailed that solidly. Here's a look at winning special teams, Keith. Uh, with Michigan and Wisconsin. Wisconsin's had a little bit better field position, but the one missed extra point. Pressure coming. The ball is thrown outside to Chris Howard. Howard breaks it and picks up the first round for the Wolverines out around the 23-24 yard line. Four minutes to play in the uh, third quarter. And Chris Howard now becoming the workhorse in the second half, just as he did last week at Penn State. The wide out, stops, throw it to him. Oh my goodness, that defensive back saw that all the way. Dante King, and if the ball isn't high, he might have had a shot at it. Dante King is the true freshman from Los Angeles, Keith. Number 24, he reads this all the way. He's playing because of the injury to Jason Suttle. Suttle has missed the last three ball games. And this young man, the true freshman, has filled in for him very well. It's another big third down play. Third and seven. It's Chris Howard again. Oh, my goodness. He caught a bullet by the tail. Literally, as the ball went by, he was able somehow to reel it in. Kevin McNabb, though, rallies them with under 30 seconds remaining, 24 yards to Quinton Spotwood, 32-27. That's your Burger King play of the day, Keith. Well, Walt Harris has done a good job with that Pittsburgh, hasn't he? Hadn't he, though? He really has. I'm proud of him. Second down and two, and this is Thomason. He's got room for the first down. Took a solid hit at the 45 and fell forward. Jason Gorey, seven. Reese's pass. Way beyond everybody. Woodson was over there. Tom Burke came in and nailed Brian as he let the ball go, but Woodson had three red shirts in his neighborhood. Well, Woodson got jammed on the thing, Keith. I think Brian was thinking that he was going to get back out there. He never had a chance. To get back out. Second down and ten. Pressure coming. Michigan having to throw it in a hurry and threw it a little bit behind Chris Howard, and he couldn't pick up on it. They were trying to set a screen. If they'd been able to effectively get the screen going, it might have gone out of the shotgun to get a little more time. Pass is away, the pass is completed for Thomas. Anthony Thomas is going to be short for the first down. Jason Goring got him, and he's going to be uh, half a yard maybe short of the first down. I'll measure, though, to make sure. Well, here comes Chris Howard. Here comes Campbell to tight end. They're going to 
vote. Chris Floyd in front of Chris Howard. It's Howard. He's got the first down. He's inside the 30-yard line and down to the 27. That's a good time. Before Doring brings him in. Doring has a heat. Doring in the third quarter. First down Wolverines. Wisconsin 27-yard line. This is Chris Floyd going to the left side. And he picks up big yarding on the play. Got nine yards. And again, it's Doring making a tackle. This drive can started back inside the 10-yard line. Michigan has five drives of over 90 yards this year for touchdowns. Take a look from behind the defense. There's Doring again. He's all over the place. You folks better get used to him because he's only a freshman. Floyd now, four carries for 57 yards. For Michigan, Wolverines, second down and one. This is Chris Howard caught behind the line of scrimmage and the man who made the play was Tom Burke. He got him with a shirt tail and wouldn't let go. Stretch his fingers a little bit on the left hand. That's all he was comes to 10. Back after this are the words from our ABC State. Yard line. Brian doing a nice job of converting third downs in the first down, Steve. Michigan has been good at it all year. Shaw barely holds on to that ball. <laughs> so he just barely did. <laughs> Shaw's the wideouts have had a pretty good day. Yes, they have. Streets and Shaw both. So it's first down for Michigan near the 10. Chris Floyd to about the six. Got over there behind John Jensen. And down, call it four, near the five. Chris Howard. They got it. Short. Once again, it's number eight, Jason Doring, the first man to make the contact. And there's a loss to the wideouts. It's pass. Greasy runs to the right, in cover, throws, incomplete, almost intercepted. The only man that had a chance to catch it is Donnell Thompson, and he didn't do it. The Michigan is four. It's 24 yards, and it's Jay Feely. Jensen snaps, Greasy holds, Feely kicks. It's good. 24 yards gives the Michigan Wolverines a nine-point lead, 19 to 10, with 13:08 to play in the game. We come inside Camp Randall Stadium now, 13:08 to play in the ball game, 19 to 10, Michigan leading, keeping the ball on the ground. He's rolling around, is finally picked up by Dante King. He turns up at the 15-yard line and runs into traffic there and stops. And once again, let's join John. Keith, North Carolina trying to bounce back from their loss to Florida State facing Clemson today. Chris Keldorf in at quarterback. Davenport is up for the year. 58 yards to L.C. Stevens. Gets it to the six. The Stevens, three catches, 169 yards. That one set up a touchdown. North Carolina leads 17 to 10. And Skip Hicks has just added another touchdown. UCLA is up 18. Keith. Ruins are tough. Ruins are tough. First down, Wisconsin at their 16-yard line. This is Carl McCullough. He's across the 20 and out to the 22. He's a man. Second down to three. Samuel rolls it out. And down he goes. It's James Hall who got around the blocker. And I know that uh, Samuel's playing on a, a tender ankle. Yeah, he's been getting away from these, but 56 is James Hall. And he's Hall does a nice job of bringing it down. He's down at the inside the 19-yard line. So a loss of four, and it'll make it... Third down and seven. Big play right here, Keith. The Badgers need to keep possession of the ball. The last possession for Michigan, 19 plays. Wisconsin needs to keep possession. That's a bunch. 19 plays. Cecil Martin's back in the ball game, having been shaken up earlier. Samuel pulled it down, starts to take off, and will be punished. Sam Sword got him. Can carry from the wind up high, and out of bounds goes Charles Woodson at the 38-yard line. It was a 40-yard punt with no return. The young man having a big game right there, Keith. Five catches over 100 yards. He had not caught a single ball in the last two games. There's another guy having a big game. Yeah, I think Chris is the clutch man again today. I mean, there was he was the Big Ten player of the week last week. John Jensen uh, has moved over to the left side now. He, he moves into that protector slot on the left side of the offensive line. And moving over to the tackle position for Michigan will be Chris Zeman. And that'll put Dave Brandt, the freshman, up into the right guard slot. So... A lot of shuffling here in order to get a, an experienced performer over at that left tackle. Greasy throws it inside to Woodson. And Woodson can't get away. There were two of them there, and they jumped in quickly, and Donnell Thompson is hurt right now. Swing it out. 
Chris Howard, who else? And he's got the first down. Tell you what, you know, I would I would put somebody on Howard like man to man, like you do in basketball, like a zone and one, a box and one, and just take him away. On the first down, they go back to Howard. He slashes over the right side for about four yards. And the clock's rolling right along at 9.25 to play in the game. You see it up the upper right-hand corner. Undefeated Michigan. Next week gets Ohio State at Ann Arbor. 8-2 and two, Wisconsin. Gets to go to State College, Pennsylvania. They came back with a nice win over Purdue, didn't they? Penn State? Yes, they did. Second down and six. Howard bouncing outside. Got loose. Oh, he almost really got loose. That's a first down and a big one. They were to mark him down at the, the door slammer right here. This is Anthony Thomas, who's going to be a force himself in years to come at Michigan. He's just a true freshman. At the conclusion of the game, we'll pick the Chevrolet most valuable players. To date, Chevrolet awarding over six and a half million dollars. Thomas. Well, if he'd stayed inside, he had a little something, but he chose to go outside, and yeah. there was nothing there. Yeah, he left his friends, and, uh, and... Pass thrown to Aaron Shea, the tight end, and he's close. Shea thinks he's got it, and so do the officials. Yep, he's got it. By at least, he's got it by a yard. So it's a good catch and a good reach by Aaron Shea to get the first down. And, and a nice play by Brian, just... Getting somebody downfield, four guys went downfield, four enough to get the first down, and he found the guy that was open and kept the drive going. First down on the Wisconsin 18-yard line. And he knew up for another supper with numbers like that. Here's Howard. Oh, that's a pretty good piece of running there for Chris Howard. Mm -hmm. Good vision, Keith. He saw, he saw who was going to come tackle him, and he saw how, and he just pulled his legs away from him. He's down inside the five-yard line. It'll be first and goal. We'll look from behind the offense. Cross block at Zeman, 52. I see uh, that's Doring again, trying to make the tackle, a shoestring tackle. He just jumps out of it. First and goal at the four, and the linesman comes in waving his arms to stop things. It's Chris Howard. Second effort. Touchdown. Well, this is just tough inside running in that Michigan offensive line. We talk about the young Wisconsin offensive line. Michigan's offensive line, very young also, Keith. That could be your door slammer. Extra point makes it 26 to 10 with 6 minutes and 15 seconds to go. AP has a number one. The coaches poll has a number two. Jay Feely. It's good. So, a third largest crowd in Camp Randall Stadium history, 79,806. Rose Quiet, Michigan 26, Wisconsin 10. This is taken by one of the up men, Brandon Cantrell, and he rumbles back up to about the 38-yard line, and they're trying to bounce that thing downfield and keep it out of the wind, and it hasn't been working very well. Well, both teams have squibbed it, Keith. Yep. Uh, so, look, the coach is fact. The Home Depot coaches, back Jim Herman, the defensive coordinator, and you can see what his troops have done. In the NCAA overall, they rank first in total defense in points per game, followed by Florida State and Nebraska. Now, those are the top three teams in your national polls, and Jim's guys lead the pack. Yeah, and he says he's got a good group of kids. They like each other, and they a lot of character, a lot of chemistry. Samuel's ball thrown hard to Carl McCullough, and it's thrown so hard, McCullough just simply couldn't ring it in. Second down and 10, Samuel rolled up. Lynn Steele's after him, the ball is called, nice pass and a nice catch by Donald Hayes. So Hayes will give uh, Wisconsin a first down at the Michigan, 34-0. They came home, had two weeks off, went back to work and made six personnel changes off that opening game. Pretty good coaching job, I'd say. This is McCullough finding his way through the traffic and getting down to the 41-yard line. It's good to see McCullough down to eight and then maybe get an onside kick. On the option, it'll be a first down at the Michigan 34-yard line. When you don't see the option, and, uh, I don't think they practiced against it. What, what Michigan has not done against the option is tackle the quarterback. Nobody is going to the quarterback. They're all going to the pitch man, and you got to force him to throw it first. I mean, Mike. Mike's been hurting him all day on keeping the ball, turning it up. 
pass for Hayes is too long. Well covered by Andre Weathers. Option again. Again, nobody attacking the quarterback. And he runs it and knocked out of bounds at about the 26-yard line. Sam Sword made the tackle. Brad Childress, the offensive coordinator, just staying with something that's working. That's the 13th carry. It's down, and they're inducted, giving up another key. Well, I suppose they haven't handled the option. Ben Steele can't get him down. He got his hands on him and then lost his footing. But he took enough away from his energy and his momentum that he could not hook up and complete the pass. Clint Steele, he, he run about five miles today. I mean, this guy is 6'5 <laughs> and 290. Look at the quickness and agility in getting out there to put the pressure on Samuel. Ben is that guy's half rabbit. <laughs> he catch him. <laughs> he, he probably couldn't whistle right now if you went out there and passed him to whistle too. <laughs> Fourth down and two. Give it to McCullough. He's got it. And he's right at 100 yards. I think he just went over 100 yards. Deonti. This is Hayes in motion. He's 6'5". We go the other way with it, short, down to about the 15-yard line to Rams, the tight end. He looked, though, he probably looked and saw that Hayes had been picked up by Woodson and decided, mm -mm, ain't going there. Well, you know what everybody's thinking is what I mentioned a little earlier. Wisconsin just wants to get down and give, himself, give themselves a chance in this game. If they score and go for two, they're only down by eight. Get an onside kick, do the same thing, tie it up. And that's what that's the long-term plan right there. Michigan has other plans for it defensively. Three and a half minutes to play. Pick up the pressure. This time he can't get away. It's Deonte Jones. He's got a little more foot speed than Glenn Steele. And down he goes back outside the 20 to the 22-yard line. There's another man right there that's going to sleep good tonight right there, Mike. <laughs> Samuel, he's been all over this place. Going to soak that foot in a bucket of salt water, I hope, before he goes to bed. Inside the 22-yard line and third down 13 for the Wisconsin Benchers. They trail by 16 points. There's two minutes and 55 seconds to go. Samuel's pass is incomplete, almost intercepted by Woodson. You know, we've played several Michigan games along the year. If you don't throw this ball right on time, it is dangerous throwing in Woodson's direction. He is so quick to cut him the knee. There's Steele. You better be in rhythm. Yeah. There's Woodson, number two. He, see, he sees the route, and he beats Simmons into the inside of the reception area. And he knows the quarterback, how much time he's got, so he breaks when he knows the quarterback should be throwing the ball. It's fourth and 13. This is the ball game. Hope's right here for Wisconsin. It's caught for a touchdown. Charles Woodson fell down. He bumped into Donald Hayes and fell down, and Hayes was all alone, and Samuel hit him, and he scores. The key here, Keith, is he had all day to throw the football. I mean, Woodson fell down, yes, it's right. Simmons. He completion. Simmons. But he had, he had, Michigan had a blitz on, he had all kinds, all kinds of time to throw. That's a key, key extra point here for two points. So they will go for two. It's Simmons coming down this side. And making the catch after Woodson fell down for the touchdown. And here's the pass for the two points. And it is incomplete. This time he was going toward Hayes, the bigger man, and he couldn't get to it. Here's the touchdown. Now you'll see Woodson. Onside kick. In college football, you must have four guys on, on both sides of the ball. You're kicking it off. That's got to go 10 yards. And it didn't. He didn't get it going downfield enough. So he kicked it from the 35, and he went out of bounds at about the 42 or 3. He's got to travel 10, and he didn't do it. So that kind of went off in their foot at 2.42 to play in the ball game, and that just might do it. Michigan will have possession of the ball. There you go, Keith. You like this one? The last two drives for Michigan. 19 plays, 85 yards, 7 minutes and 23 seconds, and then the next one, 10 plays, 4 minutes and 28 seconds, got a touchdown. Michigan gets the football at the Wisconsin 41-yard line. It's 2.42 to play in the game, and they'll just run it and run it. Wisconsin's got one timeout remaining. Seven and a half break. What I'm doing as Lysak comes up and makes one more tackle for the Wisconsin Badgers. Now the Badgers. All the scores, the defense, only two teams broke into a double figures before uh, Wisconsin here. Wisconsin's got to 16. But Strong defense. A question, do, I, do they risk a pass on third and nine? No, I don't think so. I, I don't uh, Would you rather punt it? Yeah, I think you punt it. Make them go the long way. <laughs> I, I, I knew anybody on the team who 
think you'll tell me what's going on. <laughs> Isaac 57, not trying to tackle him, just pulling at the ball. That ball almost pretty ugly. Yeah, that ball almost went over his head. And they're going to kill it down around the five yard line. He had touched it down before he kicked it into the end zone. That kind of excited the crowd, but uh, he had touched the ball down at about the five or so. It comes out, Keith. But he did kick it into the end zone? Yep. yep. Oh, I thought he had you, it's, it it's illegal touching, but if you kick it in the end zone, that's where it goes. The Chevrolet most valuable players of the game uh, from Michigan. Uh, Chris Howard ran for 100 yards and two touchdowns on 26 carries. Caught four passes. Clutch. Every one of them. Clutch passes for 38 yards. Carl McCullough ran for 103 yards and had one reception. And so they are the Chevrolet Most Valuable Players. Chevy donating $1,000 to each of the school's general scholarship funds. A Chevy tradition for more than a quarter of a century. Samuel throws out to McCullough. The ball bounces at his feet. And Penn State in that order. Samuel again throws to the sideline for the same thing. <laughs> the same play. This is not the strength of their games in the Big Ten. 35 ticks on the clock, 26 to 16. Michigan got a couple of guys nicked here uh, today, uh, Keith. Well, Sam had a good day, though. Yep, he sure did. Sam sure did. Has that sideline? He can't throw the ball to the sideline. Well, he's expecting him to run into the ball. Expect he's leading him upfield. It's very tough. And the second. So James Hall gets the number, and uh, the clock shows 25 seconds, so you need one snap of the ball by the Michigan Wolverines. They're, they're, they're the heart and soul of the offense. But they will be looking down the barrel next Saturday because the Ohio State Buckeyes have been playing as well as anybody in the country over the last few weeks, since, ever since the Penn State lost. Well, that snap will get the clock rolling. Wisconsin can't stop it. In run out. It was a tough, hard-nosed, old-fashioned Big Ten football game, and it goes to Michigan by a score of 26 to 16. And for Lloyd Carr, the season continues to be a magic one for him and his coaching staff and their players. So it's Don and Madison. We hope you enjoyed it. Now let's join. 26.